The Rise of AI, From Pilotless Cockpits to Staffless Companies Imagine you have two options for your next flight. Which one would you choose? 1. Boarding a commercial aircraft, pilotless and controlled by AI bots, or 2. Boarding a commercial flight steered by an experienced pilot with minimal computer assistance. If you choose the latter, you would be taking a significant risk. Technically speaking, it is entirely feasible to fly a commercial passenger aircraft without a pilot. However, due to marketing and public relations considerations, airlines will continue to keep a pilot on board. This pilot, also acting as a captain, would have a different role than the one we recognize today, focusing more on passenger engagement and public relations. And as a precaution, there would be a warning sign at the pilot station. Do not touch anything before consulting the AI supervisor. The rise of AI is having a profound impact on many industries. Now let us ask a more realistic and compelling question. If given the opportunity to work with a company, which arrangement of the following would you prefer? 1. Engaging with a company solely through their websites, or 2. Interacting with a company exclusively with human representatives, devoid of any website assistance. Neither option might appeal entirely, but the current trajectory nudges us towards the first one. Increasingly, companies are leveraging their websites as the primary means for operations, offering everything from technical support to customer service. As a supplement, some companies provide chat on their websites and some some use emails. Many established companies, YouTube included, do not even provide a single phone number for customer service. By reducing the reliance on human workers, businesses can minimize expenses while improving consistency and reliability of their services, and they are available 24 by 7. This digital transition paves the way for AI chatbots to provide significant assistance. As businesses transition towards comprehensive and interactive websites on both PCs and mobile devices, navigation and information retrieval can become more complex. This is where AI chatbots become valuable. We will update this video series periodically, so make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular updates. As a new channel, each subscription counts. It would be greatly appreciated if you could also share this video with interested parties. We trust you'll find this content informative and useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. Subscribers can also request private videos or playlists by emailing us at strtextmaster at gmail.com. Our AI Productivity Center, or AI Workstation, include well-known chatbots ChatGPT, Bard, Bing Chat as well as less-known chatbots ChatSonic, Perplexity, and UChat. In the previous video, we posed three queries to Bard, Bing Chat and ChatGPT. 1. Where can I buy a toner cartridge for Brother MFC 7680DW printer? Please present it in table format with prices and phone numbers. 2. When is the best time and best day to upload a new video on YouTube? 3. How do I share a private video on a YouTube channel with a prospective viewer? In the above three queries, query 1 represents a search for product information. In this case, Bard and Bing Chat provide a concise summary and are prepared for typical online searches when needed. ChatGPT has introduced beta testing for its browsing and plugin functionalities as part of ChatGPT Plus since we asked this query in our previous video. ChatGPT's browsing capability relies on Bing search. The search results under ChatGPT browsing are different from Bing Chat by design. In this case, the information obtained by ChatGPT Plus is more complete, but a bit lengthy. Currently, ChatGPT's browsing capability is very sluggish in beta testing. We assume that both the speed and generated results will improve greatly over time. The second type of query involves knowledge gathering and generation. Here we ask about the best time and day to upload a YouTube video. In this case, ChatGPT, Bard, and New Bing all provide relevant knowledge they have compiled. However, the quality of the information provides is subject to further verification and discussion. The third type is arguably the most significant, highlighting a unique area where AI chatbots can offer substantial assistance. Companies and services nowadays predominantly use websites as the center of their operations, 
providing everything from product information to technical support as well as customer service. As websites become multifaceted and adaptive with user interaction, navigating and retrieving information from websites on PC and apps on mobile devices can become increasingly complex. This is where AI chatbot queries prove invaluable. In the above three types of queries, the first and the third require most up-to-date information from companies' websites. Currently public AI chatbots such as BARD, Bing Chat, and ChatGPT do not directly learn from websites. Instead, they rely on relevant articles and search links. This is because currently it is not feasible to process and store all of the information on the internet. At the current technology, chatbots are trained on a subset of data that is relevant to their purpose. This can lead to errors as the chatbot may not have access to all of the information that is necessary to answer a question accurately. Chatbots, including ChatGPT and others, have varying degrees of access to up-to-date information from the internet depending on their design and capabilities. Some chatbots have the ability to access real-time information and updates through APIs or other means, while others may rely on pre-loaded or cached data that can become outdated over time. In general, a chatbot with internet access potentially offers more up-to-date information than those without internet access. However, it still depends on how the chatbot was designed to retrieve and process information. The accuracy and relevance of information provided by a chatbot depend on several factors. These include the quality and reliability of the sources used, the sophistication of the chatbot's algorithms and natural language processing abilities, and the context and specificity of the query. In our research and experimentation, we will study various AI chatbots, including BARD, Bing Chat, ChatGPT, ChatGPT+, ChatSonic, Perplexity, and UChat. Here's a brief comparison of these chatbots. Footnote A. ChatGPT+, has a limit of 25 messages every 3 hours. Footnote B. Bing Chat has a limit of 20 turns per conversation, and 150 to 200 chats per day limit. In this table, we see that only ChatGPT does not have internet access. Almost all chatbots, except BARD, have their own apps on the iPhone or other mobile devices. At present, only Bing Chat and ChatGPT Plus set explicit limits on the number of chats, turns, per conversation session. While other chatbots may not have explicit limits on their capacity, Usually they cannot handle longer articles or documents for text processing. Typically, they can only handle article with 4,000 words or less. Bing Chat can only handles 2,000 word or less. ChatGPT, ChatGPT Plus and Bard can handle much longer articles for text processing in comparison with other chatbots. Finally, almost all chatbots, except ChatGPT Plus and ChatSonic, are free for their PC versions. Subscription fees may be required for advanced features of selected services. Usually there is monthly fee or annual fee for mobile apps, and there are a number of AI chatbot apps available for mobile phones. AI chatbots have the potential to be invaluable tools for navigating and retrieving information from websites. However, they do come with their own set of errors and limitations. In our research and experimentation, we aim to explore the strengths and weaknesses of these AI chatbots. Our goal is to identify the complementary strengths of different AI chatbots and effectively utilize them for queries while developers iron out any bugs. Surprised by the success of ChatGPT in December 2023, Google declared a code red to find ways to incorporate AI chatbot technology into its products. In less than six months, Google's Bard has evolved from a chatbot based on Lambda to one based on Palm 2. The newer BARD demonstrates higher accuracy and significantly improved capabilities. Google's next step is to replace POM2 with Gemini, Generalized Multimodal Intelligence Network. Unlike POM2, Gemini is a network of AI models capable of handling a variety of data types and tasks, including text, images, audio, and video. We will leverage Google's AI enhancements in our research and experimentation. We hope you find this video informative and useful. Please subscribe to this channel for any time access to this and other videos. As a subscriber, you are welcome to request private videos or playlists by emailing us at strtextmaster at gmail.com. That's all for today.
Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.